Morning guys, day five I believe it is. I feel rough this morning. Oh my god, yesterday beat the crap out of me. Had to get done though, because the appliances are coming in just a couple hours. Got the call from them 7.30 this morning. So they will be here between one and three. Just wrapping up, cleaning up the kitchen here, getting that all spaced out, ready for them. They're gonna have to come in the front door because can't get in through the garage, which is okay because these doors are bigger than the garage anyway. There's a step on both, so it doesn't matter. And uh, I'm gonna take it a little easier today. Uh, 18 hours of painting and work yesterday, just, it was too much. I just put eye drops in because I woke up this morning and my eyes are completely blurry just from lack of sleep. It's starting to clear up. I, I can at least see across the street now, so that's good. <laughs> uh, let's see, after that, I'm just gonna do a lot of little stuff around here. I may not even paint today. If I do, it'll be after the wife gets home, so I can have her do. The only thing I've been asking her to do around the house at all is paint, uh, tape the baseboards. She keeps saying, well, that's my house too, my house. Okay, great, do some work. <laughs> She comes home and gets right into bed. <sighs> Whatever. At least I know it's getting done right. So she did that wall of the living room last night. That's it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, still don't have a car, and now there's going to be another possible couple days delay. Yesterday in the afternoon, they were replacing the radiator in her car, and they found another part that they didn't know about some kind of bracket. So they were trying to get it in today. And if that happens, then we're still back on schedule. Um, what is today? Today's Thursday, back on schedule for delivery tomorrow. Uh, if not, it'll be Monday. So not a huge deal because we're busy all weekend anyway and the car will be here. So that's not a big deal. Can't drive two cars to go do stuff on the weekend. So. Who cares? Saturday morning, I've got the U-Haul trailer scheduled. We're gonna go get the couch, drop that off, then go right down to Ikea Tampa, and hopefully place the delivery order for the rest of our furniture. And I don't even know what's coming today. I, I've been putting them all in an email folder, all the delivery stuff coming in, but I think there's some big furniture coming today for the back, I'm not sure. I'll have to double check, but that's it. it today's just going to be a bunch of little stuff. I need to kind of recover. My throat's really rough too. Like I'm getting a little bit of a cold, which I don't know if I, if I am, it's from lack of sleep and breathing over the paint. You know, my wife says last night, oh, it's funny. I don't even smell this paint. Like it's something special. Oh, believe me. I smell it. <laughs> yeah, I smell it. It's, it's just, I haven't done the whole house in it. She's used to, and I'm used to, the old house, which we painted three times. Yeah, you smell it because the, you know, we've got had seven foot ceilings, and when you paint basically the whole house at once, it's just one big humid paint blob. Yeah, you're gonna smell it. Well, here there's you know five times the airspace, so doing one room a day, absorbed by the whole house, yeah, it's not that bad but I smell it. <laughs> I think it said day five in the beginning. I believe it's day six. I just figured out why so many of the doorstop ends were missing. It's from brooms. Sweeping out underneath them, pops them right off. <laughs> Gotta be careful. So this is how everything's been going and why it's hard to feel like anything is going anywhere yet. So I'm starting on the drawer project here while I'm waiting for the guys to come and Took the old sliders out, I want to get those brackets out, and I want to check the instructions to read up on the template on where I need to place the brackets and then the front of the sliders. So I come up here and I'm like, oh, I need some more light. Go to turn on the light and the freaking bulbs burned out. More burnt bulbs they left me with. So now I've got to take that cover off and of course the screw head is stripped. So now I'm going to try to figure out how to get that off without my tools. I've got my Swiss Army knife, so I'm gonna give that a shot, but I may need to hold off on that until I can get to my tool chest, which is still completely buried in the back of all the stuff in the garage. <laughs> I 
So if this doesn't work, I'll just find a better lit space. It is quite dark in here. I do have under cabinet lighting going in. Not, and I can't remember, I don't think I specified any under here because I figured there was a light under here. But I have that whole cabinet and those whole cabinets being lit with LEDs. So I'd love to put a drop down pendant right over the island. I think that would be really cool. It's dual. I've got full attic access. That's a, a much later project. That one I can't wait to replace. Puts off good light, but it's just not very good looking. So here's the culprit. Definitely a burnt out bulb. I'll pick one of those up after the wife gets home at some local store. Well, all these instructions are pretty much useless. It's a French company. And uh, it's basically step one, take out a package, step two, install, step three, close drawer. So they give a lot of dimensions, but I'll need to get my measuring tape for that and uh, just wing it. Yeah. Right, I hear a truck. Yeah, buddy. Finally, we can do laundry and keep groceries. What a concept. This is why the HOA says no parking on the street. Neighbor across the street freaking parks there every day. They don't seem to enforce anything around here, which kind of sucks because I'm paying 100 bucks a month for them just to keep it looking nice. Washer dryer coming down. Another guy pissed that he can't get through. Come on, HOA. A new monster fridge. One of the biggest in make. Let's do a quick function check here. Pretty quiet. Got all the bells and whistles. He did recommend a more flexible duct. Can't really see it down there, but I'm gonna go pick one of those up tonight. The one on there is pretty much like a solid tin foil kind of thing. Down she comes. Squeaked by. <laughs> Try to pull. Okay, man. I can blow up. Very nice. And we're done. Just got to clean her up. Sweet. Everything checks out. Minor adjustments to score up the doors. Luckily they had an ice line because it wasn't on the list to buy. Like I thought it came with it. Ugh. Twin compressors, LED lights, French doors. Fits anything you ever want to put in here. Huge double freezer section. Solid feeling handles. It was definitely the best one they had. We nitpicked over everything. Should have self-closing doors. Yep. And it's got an alarm so when the wife leaves it open, it won't freeze up. I mean, she'd have to really leave it open because they they self-close from quite a distance. <laughs> All right, everything good there. Sweet, now we can get groceries tonight. Now I can throw in the laundry that's been piling up here for the past few days. We did go to the laundromat, or she did. 
once just because we had to. Everything's good to go here. Went through a complete cycle and he did get that dryer vent to work. So kudos. Everything tightened up, new lines. Just a tip, if you're buying this stuff, you have to buy power cords and lines and all that. They do not come with the units. So this guy here, oh, he gave us some freebies. I will have to try those. This is my gas install for the stove that's still coming. He was like, what's this for? It's an electric dryer. I said, yeah, it's for the stove. Big old washer. Very cool. All right. Well, I'll have to read the instructions for all that. Shouldn't be too hard, but totally new to me. We're coming from the old school, like 1980s stuff. You know, just plain white, small fridge, plain white steel, no frills, washer dryers. Okay, uh, next should be Frontier pretty soon. And I finally see a Frontier truck. Get that going. Wife just came home. She's checking out the new appliances. Ooh, shiny new. So it turns out for Frontier Fios, it does not matter if you have a whole house splitter or not. So we're leaving all of that intact. Not getting in signal yet. He's going outside to check his boxing equipment. So the Frontier guy had to leave because there's a problem with the line going to the neighborhood hub. He checked everything here at the house. He's just not getting any signal. Thought maybe the next door construction crew cut it, the fiber going up to the side of the house here while they did the pool install, but nope, he checked that line and we're good. So it's somewhere at the hub. He's off to check that right now. So crossing our fingers, we'll be on by the end of the day. We need to swap the door position here on the dryer. As it's delivered, it's designed to be on the right hand side. So it opens this way, but I can transpose the handle, the hinges, and the latch and just flip it around kind of like a fridge door because there's no room when you're standing in there to open the door and get your laundry in. Ooh, scary. So minor glitch with Frontier. He went to plug me into the hub and all the neighborhood slots are filled for the high-speed connection. So he's gonna temporarily downgrade me to the slower 7575 and put in the engineering change to get them to expand the hub. But that's fine, 75 is uh, more than enough for what I need to do and that'll be it. So it's just a slight delay to get back up to my super high speeds, but we should tonight have internet for the first time. And another small run. Home Depot, much, much better than going to Lowe's, about half the distance. I tried those 3 8 inch rollers. Not a good idea. The half inch work so much better. The 3 8 barely have enough paint on them to make one full stripe. And then it's out. This I can get a nice even two. Wife wanted a little towel hook here for her side of the bathroom. Got the little paint brushes to fix the front door some bumpers to go uh, on the wall for some of the cabinets when they open. These will mount the hose reel in the back, and this is a tape measure so I can finish the drawers, and a new bulb so we'll get that light going. And we have light. And we have working internet, haha. And with that, I bid you guys a good night. See you tomorrow.